Are you looking for the best budget graphics cards? In this video we will look at some of the 7 best budget graphics cards on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. GeForce RTX 4068 GB NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 is Team Green's best new generation offering under $300. There is not much difference when we compare the raw performance of the RTX 4060 against the previous gen RTX 3060. So, it is considered by some to be a somewhat disappointing GPU launch. However, it is a decent graphics card for gaming, considering it supports DLSS 3 frame generation. With DLSS 3 enabled, you can play modern games at higher settings too. Even the highly intensive RT Overdrive setting on Cyberpunk 2077 is actually playable on the RTX 4060 thanks to DLSS 3. It also needs a considerably low amount of power and is rated at 115 WTDP. With 8GB VRAM, it is possible to run into issues with video memory running out especially when maxing out games. You may not be able to push 1440p on this graphics card, but it should work out fine for less demanding games. Overall, the RTX 4060 is not too bad of a consideration, especially being available under its launch pricing a few months after its release. Being a graphics card that doesn't demand too much power, there are a lot of smaller options on the market. The GPU started dipping under its MSRP at times, making it a better deal than when it was launched. The MSI Ventix 2X variant linked below has an all-black design and dual fans. If you can accommodate a bigger GPU, the Gigabyte Eagle variant features triple fans with wind force cooling system. It has a gray finish with blue accents on its fans. Number 2. AMD Radeon RX 7600 AMD Radeon RX 7600 is Team Red's answer to the RTX 4060 and offers a bit more value for your money since it's priced lower. At this price, it's super tough to find a GPU with high VRAM capacity. The RX 7600 is a good GPU for 1080p gaming. But then again, you won't be able to max everything out depending on how intensive the game is. Moreover, the raw performance increase is not significant compared to the predecessor RX 6600. To increase your performance in basically any DX11 slash DX12 game, you can also turn on the AFMF feature through driver settings. This will enable AI frame generation, and the overall performance becomes quite satisfactory. This GPU is often going for prices under its launch MSRP, sometimes available at $240 to $250 as well. One of the most affordable Radeon RX 7600 GPUs on the market is the XFX SWFT 210 variant. It has dual fans and a sleek look with a black theme. The backplate features the brand's logo by being distinctly cut out. For a small premium, the Gigabyte Gaming OC variant listed alongside features triple fans. It features a logo shown on the side of the graphics card with RGB support. Number 3. Intel Arc A750 Intel's venture into the graphics card market is going well, with the Intel Arc A750 being the most attractive GPU to buy around the $200 price point. It has been discounted heavily from its original MSRP of $289. The performance of this graphics card is particularly impressive. After several GPU driver updates, Intel made the Arc A750's performance competitive against the options listed above. This makes it pretty much the best value-for-money budget GPU in 2024, as long as you don't mind the negative we are about to discuss. Though the performance has greatly improved, there may be some stability issues that you may run into. Games such as Starfield and GTA 5 are known to still have issues with Intel Arc graphics cards. By the way, you need two X8-pin GPU power connectors for this graphics card because it has a 225W TDP. I can't recommend this GPU to everyone. But for its price, as long as you don't mind tinkering around and being patient, this can be a satisfying GPU to own. The Acer Predator Bifrost variant linked below features dual fans, but it has hybrid cooling with a vapor chamber. 
it looks quite interesting and different from traditional GPU designs. The graphics card from Acer also features RGB lighting with the Predator logo. The other GPU linked below is the Sparkle Titan Arc 750. It features dual fans with a black backplate and fans. The GPU shroud has a blue finish. No AI frame generation technology for Intel GPUs is out yet, but we did hear they were working on something. Number 4. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3056GB NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3056GB is a recent launch by the company. But is it a new GPU? Well, not really, since it is using the older RTX 30 series architecture. The RTX 3056GB is less performant than the RTX 3058GB, which was originally unveiled before. However, there are some benefits to buying this GPU. It is the cheapest RTX GPU for desktops available currently, so it supports DLSS for image quality and performance enhancements. The graphics card also comes in at a price much lower than the RTX 3058GB, with several brands selling the RTX 3056GB for under $200. In terms of performance, I'm somewhat disappointed, to say the least. I hope there are better performing graphics cards launched in this price bracket later. But, for now, this is what we get from NVIDIA at $200. One great thing about the RTX 3056GB is that it is perfect for upgrading the GPU in many older builds. It doesn't require any dedicated PCIe power connectors and simply pulls power from the PCIe slot to operate. Number 5. Intel Arc A380 Intel Arc A380 is the most affordable modern GPU available to buy today. I wouldn't say this card's performance is entirely desirable, especially in heavy modern games. But this GPU is perfect for entry-level gaming. The Intel Arc A380 has 6GB GDDR6 memory and has a power requirement of 75W. In gaming, the performance is similar to a GTX 1650. Keep in mind that, like the Arc A750, the Arc A380 also suffers from being a first-generation launch of dedicated Intel GPUs. The drivers are getting better, but you may encounter some stability issues, especially in certain games such as Starfield. But it has extra VRAM while costing less than the aforementioned NVIDIA GPU. There is another dedicated Arc GPU, which is even more affordable, called the Intel Arc A310. The A380 is a better pick since the price difference isn't too substantial.